guys, Oscar here from notagarage.com and also poppydaddy.com. If you haven't seen them, links are down below. And I'm here to give you a quick demo of the raffle copter system. Let's get started. We are, oh, I am assuming that you already have an account. So if you haven't done that, go ahead and get one, rafflecopter.com. And that's where we pick up. So the first thing you want to do is, of course, is log in. I'm already logged in, but I'll show you super quick. It's very easy. Simply go to rafflecopter.com, click on the login button, enter your email and password, and log in. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new giveaway. It's very simple. Simply click on the new giveaway button. We're going to add the first prize. And for that, I'm going to be giving away one year of rafflecopter. So one. So uh, you also should add an image. The image is going to help you get a little bit more attention. And you can also add more information to the image. In this case, I have it here. And the right dimensions for an image is 350 pixels by 263. I will add that to the blog post so you can see that. So we're going to save that price. So now we have the title. The title becomes the first giveaway. I also want to add another price because we're going to be giving away $50 in cash and we won't put an image for that and we're also going to add one free video blog review. So I am now, I now have a contest with three things that I'm going to be giving away. Now I need to set the parameters or the task that people need to complete in order to enter the giveaway and you get to decide what those tasks are in this case I'm just going to add a few basic ones for example I'm going to say you need to like my fan page and in order to do that I'm going to say like puppy daddy on Facebook then you get your Facebook URL like this you know this address right here copy that and then you paste it here and then you assign a value a point value to that how much is that worth to you in terms of the entire contest or the giveaway each one of these points will become an entry for that person so if you assign five points to this that means that person will get five entries into your contest you can use that to decide which tasks have more value than others also you can make the option mandatory in this case I definitely want them to like Poppy Daddy before they can enter the contest. So I'm going to say save this option. So now we have one option that counts as five points. I'm going to add one more where they need to maybe tweet a message that says, I just entered. So I just put a tweet here. Now, when people click on the tweet button to redeem those points to enter the giveaway, they will be given an option to tweet this out or modify it. It's up to them to use one, uh, the message that you give them or for them to pick their own. So in this case, I'm just gonna say that's three points and people can do this once and it's also mandatory for them to do it each day. These are all options that you can play around with and see what works for you the best. We're gonna save it. And then we're going to say this will start and we're going to put it for a few days out. Let's say that we start on Thursday. The reason that I start on Thursday is because I want a few days in advance to promote the giveaway to make sure it's going to be listed in various websites and so that people are not over overwhelmed on Monday to do things and they can hear about it, join on Thursday and Friday. They have the whole weekend to join some more and then Monday we also promote. You want to be able to promote before the giveaway starts, during the giveaway, and after the giveaway to make sure that you maximize the attention to your website. Once you've selected what you're going to give away, how people are going to earn points to, to win that, you just simply click on preview and install. And let's see what it's going to look like. So this is more or less what it's going to look like. It starts soon. There are no entries. Nobody's earned any entries, of course. Here's the image we uploaded earlier, what we're going to be giving away, and this hasn't started. So once you are happy with how this looks, you will go and this right here, you're going to copy this and paste it into your own blog. 
So we're going to copy this. And over here, I already have a, a page where um, I want to include this. Now, here's something to keep in mind. When you are using WordPress, you want to make sure that you go over here on the right and click on the text option. That will allow you to copy and paste the exact code that Rafflecopter gives you. This is important because if you don't do this, the plugin and um, the, the text may or may not work correctly. And what we do is I'm just going to paste what we copied earlier. Right click here and paste. So notice this is the code that Rafflecopter gave me right here. Very simple. Just one line or a couple of lines. And then we will say save and publish. I'm not going to publish this right now because the blog post itself is not ready to be published, but we are able to look at the preview and see what it's going to look like. So if we refresh the page for the preview, let me click on preview over here. There it is. You can see that it takes the entire screen right here. It's centered. I can teach you on the other tutorials how to put it aligned to the left or to the right so that text can flow right next to it. It looks a little more attractive. Once this contest starts, people will be able to see those entries that we created earlier. And right here on the right top, on the top right corner, each person will see this number customized for themselves. So if they have participated once and earned earn only five points that will reflect here. And that's one of the great things about Rafflecopter. It is very user friendly for your audience. So once you complete a giveaway, let's take a look at what that looks like. So right here, this is a, the first giveaway we did for Poppy Daddy. And if I go and click on it, you're going to see the same things that I just showed you. Uh, but let me show you what are some of the entries I created for people to participate, just so you get an idea. What I did was I asked them to join my AWeber newsletter. Very important. That was worth 10 points and it was mandatory. That only happens one time because they have to join. And next time you run a contest, they don't have to join again if you're using the same list. They just simply have to confirm that they are already a part of your mailing list. So another thing I did was I asked them to like Facebook. I asked them to leave a comment on my blog. I said, this is mandatory and please leave a thoughtful comment on any post on the front page of poppydaddy.com. That is also worth 10 points and is mandatory. What that means is when you make a entry points mandatory, that means that you can eliminate people's entries when they don't complete the mandatory entries. So thus making a little bit more uh, difficult for people to just spam your contest. Other things you can do is pin an image on Pinterest. You simply put the image URL, for example, let's copy that and see. This is one of the image that I ask him to pin. And of course that benefits my content because anytime your, your content gets pinned, you get a little bit more traffic. And I added tweeting messages as well. The contest ran, as you can see here, for roughly three weeks. And at the end of the day, this is what we have. We have, I'm going to, I may have to block some of this stuff out because there's people's emails and names here, uh, but you can see right here what they did. And I have 250 pages of these. So I can just export this into Excel and be done with it. Or I can also, um, you know, eliminate people by checking this box, for example, say remove entries for this person or this action if they did not complete it in order, you know, in a qualifying manner. And of course, you can say export entries to Excel. There are very there. Let's take a look here. If you are running a contest currently, you can see how the contest is running just by clicking on the live stats. And it's pretty cool. So that's the overview. Now, if you want to continue reading and learning more about um, Rafflecopter, make sure you go back to poppydaddy.com and that will give you the list of the articles and guides that teach you not only how to use Rafflecopter, how to maximize it, how to use YouTube, Pinterest, all that stuff with Rafflecopter and your blog so you can get the most out of it because you are paying a little bit of money for Rafflecopter. 
if you're using the free version, I think you're going to be missing out on some great, great features. So it's up to you and I have tutorials and guides for all of that stuff on the site. So just go to it, hobbydaddy.com, search for how to run a giveaway on your blog, and I'll see you next time.